Uh, so the question is whether if you go through IVF, are you at risk, increased risk of having an abnormal child or genetic abnormalities? Well, the simple answer is really no. These children are completely normal. There's been over 5 million children so far born from IVF in the world, and there's no greater incidence of any abnormalities in these children than in a routine, regular, fertile population. But I, I, I want to make sure that I'm not overstating it because in any uh, normal population, uh, about 3% of the children will have some kind of abnormality. Usually they're no big deal, like maybe uh, uh, an extra little finger or uh, uh, maybe a cryptorchid testes and all these things are fixable. Uh, about 0.5% though are pretty serious abnormalities in any normal population. So uh, as long as I make that proviso that any time you decide to have a baby, there is a risk that you'll have a problem. Uh, but uh, IVF doesn't increase that risk. Uh, we followed these kids for so long. The first IVF baby was in 1979. Uh, and. Uh, uh, Louise Brown was completely normal, and there have been 5 million since then, and we just don't see any increased risk of any abnormalities. Thank you. What are some options that color, or couples can consider other than IVF? So the question is, many couples don't want to go to IVF right away. Now, in a country like Denmark, everybody goes to IVF right away because it's all paid for. In a country like Israel, everybody goes to IVF right away because it's paid for. So couples themselves want to go to the procedure that is the most effective and will get them pregnant the fastest without dilly-dallying while the eggs are getting older and their chance for getting pregnant even with IVF is getting lower. Most couples in any population, if they're infertile, will prefer to go to IVF sooner than later. The problem is cost because we know in countries where there is no cost for the couple, 10% uh, of the babies born in Denmark are IVF babies. I think even a larger percent in Israel are IVF babies. So in America, maybe 1% or 1.5% of our babies are IVF babies. And that's because so many women really don't have access to it. So frankly, I may be getting off that subject, but it's really important to control the cost of IVF. Most IVF centers are just adding one stupid thing onto another that sounds like it's good and brings the price up from what should be maybe nine or ten thousand dollars including everything to over twenty or thirty thousand dollars for just one cycle so uh, I, I think that's a terrible uh, development which is making more money uh, per caseload for IVF centers but isn't really improving the chance of having a baby and in fact is blocking IVF out financially from so many couples. So uh, we think that it's important to do many IVF procedures that have very high pregnancy rates, but uh, reduce the cost of the IVF dramatically.